Hello everybody, I am with your inaugural EPT Barcelona 2019 short deck, also known as the old six plus Hold'em tournament champion, Mikhail Rodoy. Now, this was an incredibly wild day for you, quite the roller coaster. So can you talk the viewers a little bit through what happened today? Um, I started with the starting stack the second day, but it was my third bullet. You know, when, when, you, when it's just 20 entries and you make third bullet, you don't feel very comfortable. You to gotta win to it, you day. gotta win it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> only third place was okay, at minimum for me. I mean, uh, to make it some profit here, so. But uh, it's my first uh, cash in all 25k tournaments uh, and uh, I'm very happy. Of course, it's not so much people here, but it was a very tough field and uh, had a long heads up battle, so I'm very glad to win it. I saw it too, there was definitely a, a spot where I thought you were going to win it for sure and then you got rivered there by, <laughs> by our boy Winston now, busting, getting back in, all the chips, no chips, it's, it's really fun to watch, it's, it's really exciting to watch. Now, I get, I'm a little bit curious about what this means for you in terms of accolades. Obviously you're a very accomplished poker player, but you know, you mentioned it's a really, it was a tough field. And I think really when we see the short deck fields, they're often very tough fields and very gambly. So what does it mean to, to end up on top of, of a yeah, field like this? Uh, that's, uh, that's cool. That's amazing. Because <laughs> it's my, to, uh, to make my first in the money in the tournaments like this and to win it was, I even didn't dream. Like, you know, played so much tournaments like this and uh, just sometimes you stop believing that it's possible to catch there. But uh, yes, you have, I catched a very good run on the second day and that helped me to win. Well, and you had to believe in yourself. I have to guess with three bullets that you felt like <laughs> that you had some edge there. Uh, yeah, I believe that. I understood that the edge is very small because, you know, there's the structure in this tournament when they uh, it's give, we are given three bullets and uh, they are very short. And it makes you like some, uh, some value because all are deep and you're short. And like every time you go to this tournament and you think, okay, now, now. And yeah, that's a crazy gamble game. This is interesting. Actually, I was asking one of our bloggers because I didn't realize that they do this like three, three pseudo rebuy options to play the tournament. How does that affect the way that that it plays? Uh, actually, uh, you know, in uh, I, I played in in May in offline series of uh, of this of this game, and I even uh, couldn't imagine how much re-entry I can do because uh, you think okay two maximum three bullets but when every tournament goes with three and four you think well what am I doing here <laughs> and uh, of course it's uh, I, I don't think that it changed the game uh, a lot because uh, re-entry period is only on the on the first day when it's far from uh, in the money uh, in the pay zone and uh, and you the guys just uh, I don't think that's like they feeling okay, I can do anything because I can go to make re-entry now. Everybody plays their cards and everybody understood what they're doing. So I don't think it's, it, it makes too much difference in their strategy, I mean. Well, a huge congratulations to Thank you. you and much. we will look forward to seeing a lot more of you and a lot more of Six Plus Hold'em. I think it's just really fun to watch and watching these great mm -hmm. minds put, the, put their minds together and, and figure out this game. It's really fascinating. Thank you guys so much. Don't click away from us here on PokerNews.com.